Hello and welcome to a new episode of Idle Hero Star Defense. Yes, the new energy farm with the new Supreme Towers. Let's start building. Obviously, Captain um, Capitalist. Capitalist is really nice. So for energy farming, end game wise, you want energy income all the way. Um, there's a new concept of super crits and ultra crits. Well, super already existed. It was just bonus before. Uh, we're going to put captains at both sides. So the captain uh, obviously gets like energy from kills. There we go. Which is no rocket science. Arbalist. Um, he has got skill power. And with veteran, there is also energy income. So let's build that. There we go. And we want to build two veterans. Because veteran will be our main damage dealer as well. As you can see, we have six energy income twice on both sides. Uh, six skill power and whatever. That does not matter. Um, what else do we have? Um, if we look at our stats... Now we can see, yeah, I killed like one mob. Um, bum, 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 bum. Where is it? Oh, yeah, here, energy income. We currently have uh, 79 super energy chance. I kind of want to get 40% because that's like my go-to. So how do we do this? I believe Rogue has got plus 3%. I kind of want it to, there we go. So that's plus six percent. Um, he's also got beef with Captain, so plus five energy income, and this one reaches as well, which is nice. Um, and that means that we are at forty percent. Nice. Energy income is ninety-five. I kind of want to get it to a hundred ish, and then the rest is basically super energy amount. And for the amount, because I saw with Arbalest, we can have Necromancer and Militia. Um, I'm not too sure if they have the best synergies. Uh, here. Are six energy income. With Rogue, and then maybe I could put like a Templar. Hmm. All right, this is still a mystery for me as well, since this is a new patch. I don't know what's going to be best. Going for either super energy here, so like we put like a militia. Militia, there we go. And you would have um, super energy times two. Or... We could put like a Templar. And it does not reach Rogue. Then we just have some six energy. No, we're not gonna do that. We're gonna go with the militia. That's how I did my previous runs. I will obviously test it, but we'll see. Alright, and this is basically my new energy farm. Ooh, the music is horrible again. Alright, um, so yeah, this is my new energy farm. There we go, there we go. This one should yield you about 10 million an hour uh, without any event, um, so that's pretty nice. Do remember to start with uh, energy at, at the beginning of your run, so basically then you can do two of them uh, while boss rushing which is very important. It's very, very important. Um, all of your battle pass energy also uh, comes off your best energy per hour. So your best energy per hour without uh, events, without energy ads and without power mages. So it's basically how you build. Um, so the more energy per hour you get, the higher this amount will be. Also for the resource packs in the shop. Um, 
which is important if you want to buy some in the future, obviously. You only have to do this once and then it will stay there. Obviously, if you get more improvements, for example, at the tournament, because I'm guessing not everybody has those yet because the game is still pretty new, uh, like super income chance, uh, which is really nice, and super income amount. If you have maxed those or get like higher, then just do a run again. Um, obviously, I only have 41% uh, super energy chance, so uh, I might get lucky or i might get unlucky on a run which means you're gonna have to do several runs in order to get like a super lucky run basically where you have a lot of procs where you have uh so you'll get like a high amount of energy per hour basically just to boost your packs so that was it for now i'm currently using this as my energy setup uh, you could probably all use it in order to purchase all of these Supremes because they're they're very pricey. Uh, as, yeah, I mean, as you can see, I don't even have them all yet. Um, so yeah, that's it. If we go to stats, we can already see energies popping in. So basically, the f first four minutes with the energy at it will just be under three mil, and in total, at the end of the run, you'll be at above ten mil, ten mil, ten mil and a half ish. Uh, with my upgrades. I just have to say that as a small disclaimer. So like super income chance is almost maxed here. Um, so yeah. All right. Um, I hope you enjoy it. I hope you farm some energy and see you for the next episode where I try out the new builds with new heroes. Goodbye.